हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सिराज उल अकफैसी आई वेलकम यू इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कोप एलिमिनेशंस कोप एलिमिनेशंस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमिनेशन रिएशंस यू कैन सी देर आर मैनी पार्ट सो पार्ट वन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इन ऑक्साइड The cope elimination starts with formation of a species called an N oxide. Oxygen present or added or bond to nitrogens. Treating a tertiary amine with hydrogen peroxide and base result in N oxide, which has a positive charge on nitrogen and negative charge on oxygen. so cope elimination oxidation of tertiary amine to n oxide you can see this is the tertiary amine hydrogen peroxide you see the hydroxyl group is a stronger base than the protonated n oxide so peroxy acid example mcpba can also be used for the oxidation step so this lone pair of electrons you can see the attachment of oh groups and oh minus this oh minus will take this proton and then form n oxide n oxygen here negative charge and nitrogen here positive charge and oh minus and this h plus forming water so conversion from tertiary amine to here this compounds and this compound this is the first step of elimination so in the first part of the process the amine attack hydrogen peroxide forming noh and breaking the weak oo bonds the amine oxide oh bond is then deprotonated by the strong hydrogen base Uh, hydroxide base resulting the formation of an oxide so now friends the cope elimination part 2 heating induce an intramolecular elimination dish now you can see the o minus in n oxide is a weak base when heated sufficiently an elimination reaction occurs leading to the formations of an alkene along with alpha substituted hydroxyl amine so this is your n oxide on heating induce eliminations you see the formation of double bonds you know the commonly elimination reactions so this alkene so bond form carbon carbon pi bonds this one and oh bond bond broken ch and cl so friends this is the alkene and this is the hydroxyl so now the question is cope elimination versus e2 elimination stereochemistry so cope elimination differ from the familiar e2 elimination mechanism in several important way first stereochemistry the e2 always proceeds such that two sigma bond that break the ch bond and clg bond are oriented anti to each other diagonal angles of 180 degree like the hour hand and minute hand of a clock at 6 the cope elimination the breaking ch bond and breaking cn bonds are oriented seen to each other diagonal angle 0 degree like the hour hand and minute hand of o clock at midnight the secondary the e2 is almost always an intermolecular process whereas the rate depends both on concentration of the substrate and concentration of the base the cope is an intramolecular elimination reaction which is to say that the base n oxide and the ac ch bond are always contained within the same molecule so friends cope elimination is an intramolecular syn elimination intramolecular is in that the base and acid are on the same molecule seen in that the living groups and acid are oriented on the same side of a cc bond seen conformations 
So you can see N oxide, this is N oxide, the CH bond seen to N oxide break and you, you will get the alkene. So the E2 is an anti eliminations into anti elimination CH bond NT to the BR giving Jetsef. So CH bond NT to the BR break Hoffman. So this is the Jetsef product and this is the Hoffman products. So now the mechanisms. The co proceed through a concerted syn eliminations mechanism. The oxygen from the N oxide act as a base forming the OH bond while the CH and CN bond break to form the new CC pi bonds. The COPE elimination proceeds through a concerted syn eliminations. So break the CH and form CC pi bonds, break the CN and form OH. So this is the transition state and redraw. This is the product. So you can focus on here. When these two center is going to break and this is in a transition state and forming this part. So COPE elimination mechanisms you can see how N oxide taking this hydrogens and you can see this is shifting and here bond is breaking. So alkene. So bond forms CC and OH and bond broke in this. So friends in summary, the COPE elimination, the COPE rearrangement is an intramolecular syn selective elimination reaction that converts a tertiary amine to alkenes. So, friends, hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video, then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.